Hi Vinyl Community, John here again. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Hi Rob, this is um, uh, yeah, it's hopping on your thread here um, for St. Patrick's Day. Show 10 records by Irish artists or um, yeah, bands. Um, I've been through, pulled out what I <laughs> what I had. Uh, there may be a little, some overlap with uh, with your list, but uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, Sunday, I don't often make videos on Sunday, um, but I will say this: uh, in the car this morning, heading to church with the family. Uh, who, what should drive past us around the roundabout? But uh, a big green uh, coach. Um, with the Irish rugby team. I live right next to um, Cardiff Airport, so the big green coach full of um, uh, celebrating Irishmen, I guess, for, because it's St. Patrick's Day. Um, they were heading home via the airport um, after being beaten by Wales uh, in the rugby. Bittersweet, I suppose. Still, there you go. Right. Onward with uh, some Irish records, or records by Irish artists. This, this is uh, Roy Gallagher, Tattoo. Um, not a bad record at all, quite enjoy it. Uh, he's famed for being a fantastic guitarist, um, comparable with, with Jimi Hendrix and things like that. Um, I haven't really heard enough of him, I want to hear a lot more. I just don't see his records around very much. Who have we got next? Clanad. Or Clanad. Um, shown this a couple of times recently, I think. I think it's the, the second or the third album. Um, very nice Irish folk. Uh, still fairly folky before they start kind of, you know, um, adjusting their sound to, to other sort of um, more commercial ventures, but a uh, great record. <clears throat> Boomtown Rats, this is the, I believe the first Boomtown Rats album. Um, <sighs> looking after number one um, is a track that I'm most familiar with. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Boomtown Rats, you can't go far wrong. Uh, still a punk band at this stage, I believe. Um, great, great stuff. And of course the home of uh, Bob Goldoff. Thin Lizzy, this is Nightlife, uh, one of the earlier albums, I think it's about the, what can it be, about the fourth album I think, um, don't really hear much about this one, I like it, it's, it's kind of a nice sort of mid, mid tempo type sort of feeling to the songs, um, nothing sort of too bombastic, nothing too racy, um, but a good solid record of great songs. Uh, Mama's Boys, these are from uh, Northern Ireland I understand. Um, yeah, they, ne they never really made it big, at least not outside of Ireland anyway. Um, I think they were sort of part of the, the new wave of British heavy metal perhaps, um, at least on the tail end of that, uh, but uh, they're not a huge name, but oh, they had a fair few albums out, I think, and they gave it a good shot. Who have we got next? Uh, Van Morrison. Hey, you can't have an Irish list without Van Morrison, I guess. I must say, I'm not a huge fan of his work. Um, I haven't heard an awful lot of it, and I haven't really been inspired to listen too much to Van Morrison, but uh, uh, this is a record um, that gets pulled out by a friend of mine whenever he comes around to to visit me and, and stay in the house. He'll pull this record out and play it and <coughs> reminisce about his, um, uh, I think that when he first met his wife or something like that. <laughs> Neither of them are Irish, but I guess they danced to the music on this, this album. Uh, like I said, I don't really know an awful lot about him. Um, I saw him live in Stockholm once at the uh, Stockholm Jazz Festival. Um, and I've heard that he he can be a bit grumpy sometimes, and I think yeah, I, I got to see him on a grumpy day. Um, yeah, still people tell me there's a lot of uh, a lot of great things to discover about Van Morrison if you only give him a go. Uh, 
I don't need to say who this is, do I? The Undertones. Great stuff. Um, really good album. I've always been confused by this because look, they're wearing crayfish vests. Now, where I've lived for a large part of my life in Sweden, this is what people wear when they're eating crayfish um, in around about the month of August, sometimes September, uh, crayfish parties. And I can't for the love of me think, what on earth are these Irish guys doing? Uh, sort of wearing Swedish um, August party paraphernalia. The thing is, when you eat crayfish, it's not an awful lot of food to them. You have to eat a lot of them, but it's slow going. Um, you generally kind of sing every other couple of minutes and, and take a snaps and sing a Swedish song and uh, you wear this because you're going to get messy otherwise. Um, sometimes they even wear little hats. But uh, there, there you go. The undertones. Uh, for old Sharky, a little bit of cheat here I guess because yeah, obviously he was the singer in the undertones. Um, I remember when this came out um, the single A Good Heart that he had it was uh, really big in the charts. I guess it must have been about, about 85. I think I would have been about the fifth year of comprehensive school. Um, and uh, the song was just so cool, so good. Um, and I bought this then. Uh, Skid Row. Not the American LA band. But, uh, uh, yeah, the original Irish Skid Row featuring none other than um, Gary Moore. Great record this is. I uh, haven't played this for a long time, I really should pull this out. It's sometimes when you, you do a thread like this, you pull records out, not because you want to hear them, but just because of the link or whatever. And uh, yeah, I, often, I don't know about you, but I often pull them out and think, why don't I listen to this more often? <laughs> there you go. Great record. <clears throat> okay, Stiff Little Fingers. Again, another Northern Irish band. Uh, a lot of angst, a lot of angriness. Um, yeah, this record's called Hanks. I think it's either their first or their second album. Um, has this come out in 1980? Great record. And last but not least, I'm going to show a, a U2 record. This is Acton Baby. Um, I think <clears throat> I picked this up. This was the first record I picked up in a charity shop in England um, after I'd moved back from California to Europe. Um, come to visit my folks in England uh, from Sweden because, you know, we'd been over living in America for a while. And um, popped into town, went to a charity shop, and this was sitting there alone. No other records, just sitting there on the shelf. Uh, two pounds written on it. But I, I grabbed it, I didn't even question it. Um, and it's yeah, beautiful condition. Great find. Not a huge fan of, of, uh, of U2. I like the Joshua Tree. The Rattle and Hum's quite good too. Um, people tell me this is better than that, but uh, I haven't got there yet. Maybe one day I'll learn to appreciate it. Okay, Rob. Uh, thanks very much for setting this thread up. Great idea. I want to knock this one out while it still is St. Patrick's Day. Thanks very much, everybody. Check out my next video. Bye.